If you're a first time investor looking to buy a rental property, you've come to the right place. My journey in assisting new investors has been filled with insights and today I'm super excited to share these valuable lessons with you. So we'll explain five key things I've learned from helping first time investors, whether it's understanding the market, financial planning, or navigating legal hurdles. Each of these aspects play a crucial role in making a successful investment. Let's go. Hey everyone. I'm AK with the AK Realty Group, and I help people buy and sell investment properties all over the Dallas, Texas area. When it comes to investing in rental properties in Dallas, the first thing you need to know is the market trend. Dallas is a booming city with a growing population, which is great news for investors like you. But remember, not all areas are the same. Some neighborhoods are up and coming, while others might be more established, but with higher property prices. So it's essential to keep an eye out on where the city is growing and what kind of tenants you might attract in different areas. Now let's talk neighborhoods. Dallas is a mosaic of diverse areas, each with its unique charm and challenges. For instance, Uptown is known for its vibrant nightlife and might attract younger tenants, while areas like Melissa are more family oriented. Understanding the demographics, local amenities, and the average rent in these neighborhoods can help you make an informed decision about where to invest. Let's get down to the numbers. Budgeting is the cornerstone of any successful investment. You need to consider not just the cost of the property, but also taxes, maintenance, and possible vacancy periods. It's not just about how much you can afford to buy, but also how much you can afford to maintain. You see, you see the difference, right? A good rule of thumb is to have a buffer fund for unexpected expenses. Most first time investors will need some financial help, and that's where mortgages and loans come in. There are different types of loans available, each with its own pros and cons. For instance, a fixed rate mortgage might offer stability in payments, while an adjustable rate mortgage could start with lower payments. It's crucial to understand these options and choose what aligns best with your financial situation and your investment goals. When you're looking into rental properties, you'll find there's a wide range to choose from, from single family homes to multi-unit complexes. Each type has its advantages. Single family homes generally attract long-term tenants, whereas apartments in a complex might see more turnover, but potentially higher rent. Think about what type of property fits your management style and your investment plan. I personally prefer single family homes as investment properties, and that's what I invest in myself, and I specialize in helping my clients purchase single family homes as well. Now, figuring out the right price for the property is a bit of an art and a bit of science. You'll want to look at comparable properties in the area known as comps to get an idea of the market rate. But don't just look at the price. Consider the property's condition, potential for appreciation, and any additional costs that might come up. A cheaper property might need some work increasing your overall initial investment as well as long-term maintenance costs. Investing in rental properties isn't just about finding the right place and the right price. It's also about understanding the laws in Dallas. This includes zoning laws, property codes, and landlord tenant laws. For example, you need to know your responsibilities as a landlord, like ensuring the property is habitable and safe. Being informed about these laws helps you avoid legal pitfalls and makes you a better landlord. Up next, let's talk about contracts and agreements. These are crucial to protecting your rights as a property owner. A well-crafted lease agreement should clearly outline the terms and conditions of the tenancy, including rent, deposit, duration, and rules regarding the property use. It's wise to get professional legal advice when drafting these documents to ensure they comply with local laws and cover all necessary aspects. If you're using a property management company, they'll help you with all of this kind of stuff. Working with a real estate agent can make your property buying journey much smoother. The right agent will have a deep understanding of the Dallas market and can provide insights that you might not find on your own. Look for an agent who has experience working with investors and they understand your investment goals and can provide valuable advice on property selection. This is where I guess I should insert some information about myself and ask y'all to call me since I've worked with a ton of first time investors and I help them buy rental properties in Dallas all the time. Okay. So yeah, I guess I just did that. Now, before you finalize any property purchase, a thorough inspection is a must. An inspection can reveal hidden problems like structural issues, old plumbing or electrical concerns that might not be apparent at first glance. These findings can affect your decision to buy or give you leverage in negotiating a lower price. Alongside inspection, getting an appraisal 
is key in the home buying process. An appraisal gives you an unbiased opinion of the property's value. This is important not just for ensuring you're paying a fair price, but also for securing a mortgage, as lenders often base their loan amount based on the appraised value. Negotiating a property deal can be both exciting and intimidating. Remember, it's not just about the price. You can negotiate on terms like the closing date, repairs, or even who pays certain closing costs. Understanding the seller's motivations can also give you an edge in negotiations. Be prepared, stay calm, and don't be afraid to walk away if the deal doesn't meet your investment criteria. In the heat of negotiation, it's easy to make mistakes. One common pitfall that I see a lot is getting emotionally attached to a property and overlooking its drawbacks. Another is failing to do thorough due diligence, leading to unexpected costs down the road. Always keep your investment goals in focus and don't rush into a deal without considering all aspects. But also don't get paralyzed by analysis, right? It's like you have to find that fine balance. And this is exactly where your real estate agent can kind of help you balance those emotions along with what's really important and what's really you got to let go of. You got to find that balance because you can't be too picky. At the same time, you don't want to just buy whatever just pops up on the market. You need to do your due diligence. Once you own a rental property, the next big question is, should you manage it yourself or hire a professional? Self-management can save you money, but it requires time and knowledge about property maintenance, tenants relations, and legal compliance. On the other hand, hiring a property management company can ease your workload, though it comes with additional costs. Weigh the pros and cons based on your availability and expertise. And I always recommend to my clients to use a property management company. I'm a realtor and I don't even manage my own rental properties in my portfolio. I use another property management company. Dealing with tenants is an integral part of property management. You'll need to be adept in finding and screening tenants, setting and collecting rent, and handling maintenance requests, and sometimes managing conflicts. It's important to maintain a professional relationship and ensure you adhere to fair housing laws. Good tenant relations can lead to longer tenancies and less turnover, which is great for your investment. To understand the true value of your investment, you'll need to calculate the rental yield. This is the annual rental income as a percentage of the property's purchase price. The higher yield means better return on investment, but it's not just about the current yield. You should also consider the potential for rental increase and property value appreciation over time. Property appreciation is where you can make significant gains, and it's essential to understand the factors that contribute to property value growth, like developments in the area, improvements you can make to the property, and overall market trends. Investing in an area with strong growth potential can significantly increase your long-term returns. Every investor should have an exit strategy. Knowing when to sell is as important as knowing when to buy. Factors to consider include market conditions, your personal financial goals, and the performance of the property. Sometimes selling at the right time can maximize your profits, but it requires careful analysis and timing. Selling isn't the only exit strategy. You might consider refinancing to free up capital or even passing the property on to heirs as part of your legacy. Another option is to exchange the property through a 1031 exchange, which allows you to defer capital gains taxes. Understanding these alternatives can provide you with flexibility in your long-term investment strategy. And if you're a first-time investor feeling overwhelmed, remember, every expert was once a beginner. The world of real estate investment in Dallas is filled with opportunities. Take your time to learn, don't hesitate to seek professional advice, and stay focused on your goals. With patience and perseverance, you can make a well-informed decision that leads to successful investments. I've helped a lot of first-time investors purchase rental properties in the Dallas area, and I invest in rental properties myself as well. So if you're considering buying an investment property anywhere in the Dallas, Texas area, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I would love to help come up with a game plan that works specifically for you. And if you found value in this video, please give it a like, drop me a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you never miss out on any of my future videos about real estate investing right here in the Dallas area. I'll see you on the next one.